Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about split screen effects. And if you don't want to make them yourself, stay tuned at the end and I'll show you how you can get 50 drag and drop split screen templates. All right, let me show you an example of what I mean by split screen. This is an example of some of the split screens that I've made that you can get yourself. All right, so now you know, they're great, they look wonderful, they give your video a lot of appeal, and there's so many different ways to use them. Let's divide the screen into three videos and we'll show you how we can make those. And then I'll show you um, how I've made my drag and drop video templates. All right, so let's start by taking these three videos and I'll make a new sequence and I can do that just by dragging over here on the new item icon. Of course, it puts them all in the wrong place because they're one after another and I really want uh, one on top of another. So I'm going to take that one, put it there, that one in the middle and that one below. So I've got three tracks of video and I'll just trim these just by moving my playhead over to the right and tapping the W key. So now I've got them all trimmed. Of course, the top one is hiding, the next one is hiding the next one. So we're going to start by adding some effects to the top video. In my effects controls, in my effects, I'll just type the word transform. And it's going to show me the distort and the transform categories, which is good because I need both of these. With that top video clip selected, I'll double click on transform and it adds it to the effects controls. Below that, in the transform category, I'll double click and add crop. Now I'll just scroll down to crop, and because we want him on the left-hand side, then we're gonna have to divide this into thirds. So a quick way to do that is to crop 66.6% of the right-hand side. So I'll type 66.6, which is two thirds, and we can now see he's cropped. I'm gonna hide the, the two below, just so we're looking at his. Now, obviously, he, it's not interesting because he's being cut off here. So that's why we've added the transform effect. And we're not doing it with the motion position. We'll come back to that in a second. This is why we're using transform. Very important. Don't accidentally move the anchor point. Boy, oh boy, I do this probably once every 20 or 30 times, I think I'm changing the position and I'm actually changing the anchor point. If you do accidentally change the anchor point, then click on this button here to reset it and you'll see these back to their default setting for HD. So I'll drag over top of the position and drag him into view. You can only drag so far, so you only have so much of his video clip. So if he's too far on the right hand side, then you might cut him off, but he's right in the middle of that. So that works out. So now he is in that middle section. That's pretty easy. All right, let's turn on the next one. And again, we'll do the same. So I'll add transform and crop. And by the way, you could do this with a preset. You can right click on, on two things, right click, save preset and call this your split screen setup you'd have to change the number every single time. So it probably doesn't make that much sense. Okay, so for the middle one, we need 33.3 on the left and on the right, the same thing, 33.3. So now we've got her in the middle third section. Again, I'll come back up to the position and drag her over to the left. And then the last one will be her on the bottom. Just like before, transform, crop, and now we'll crop left 66.6. .6. Go back up to position in transform. 
and drag her over to the right. And there we have it. So if you don't want this animated and you don't want bars drawn between them, then you're done. You have three of these effects. Um, and you can drag and drop new clips over top of this. But we're gonna add a bar and you do that here. It probably looks like the pen tool. You click and hold and you'll see the pen, the rectangle and the ellipse. So we'll grab the rectangle tool and you can't unfortunately drag it past the top. So you have to drag it close to the top and then we'll drag this down and make a skinny bar. And you'll see a new shape is created. So we'll drag that shape so that's the whole distance. Select that shape in the effects controls, open that up, click in the fill, and it could be any color you want. It doesn't have to be black, but we're making that black. And I'll duplicate that by copying it. So right clicking on that shape, copy, right click down here and paste. Open up the second one go to transform and move that over. So I have two of these bars. So now we've got the third video playing in these bars, but let's animate this. You remember in the example that I showed you, the center one came down from the top and the two uh, outside ones came up from the bottom. This is why we don't use the, the motion position settings because we're gonna use them to animate this. So the way to do this is to go back to the beginning and hit play and then hit stop where you think that's the amount of time you would want the, um, the uh, animation to finish. So always in, in this kind of a, a, an example, the videos are already in the resting position or the second position of the animation. Don't change them. Set a keyframe now then go to the beginning and change that. It's much easier. Okay, so let's click on the top one. We'll close everything up here except motion and add one position keyframe. So click on the stopwatch, we've added a position keyframe. And I'm going to leave my playhead in that position. I'm not gonna add, move this and, and go to the beginning. I'll go to the middle, close that up, and we'll add a position keyframe. Go to the right-hand side one, Close that up. Oh, I actually have two crops in there. And set a keyframe. So they all, there's no animation yet. You've only added one keyframe. Animations happen when there is differences between two keyframes. So now I'll drag this back to the beginning. I'm gonna select the top one and I'll choose the second number and I'll drag this to the right and I'll drag him down. Go to the middle one, second number, and drag that up. Oh, it looks like I put the bar in the wrong spot there. And go to the right and, and drag her down. And when I think, when I made the crop, I didn't make that crop correct on, on her. But I, I'm not keyframing that, so I can still add that in there. So she that was 66.6. .6. All right. My bar is a little bit off there, but you get the idea. All right, boom. So now we'll play it and they come up and they pop into position. That's all it is. You're just finding the, the crop value. And sometimes when you have a bunch of odd shaped ones, the math is a little bit trickier. It's not an even amount uh, that you can just come up with your in your head, but you end up with all of these different uh, types of settings. So this is what you get when I give you 50. Here is an example. This isn't all 50 of them, but you can see how they're all popping in. And I've used all of these as video placeholders that include audio. So a shout out to George Mitchell. He's the one who really prompted uh, this whole project um, where he wanted to know is the best way to do this kind of a split screen effect, which made me think, you know, there's a lot of new users that wouldn't have the time and effort and skill to build all this, but you can drag and drop it and make it much easier. I've included audio in here because what George found was that sometimes he doesn't just want to drag a video. He wants the corresponding audio that came with that scene. So 
You wouldn't use all of these. So some of these are going to have up to nine placeholders in them and nine different audio tracks going at the same time is gonna probably sound bad. But I wanted to give you the option that you've got all nine if they're needed. And if you've got three, if there's three screens, then you would have three audio files or three um, animated videos. You can just delete the ones you don't want. Okay, so let's find the three up. So this is the one that's three. Let's just zoom in a little bit. So I'm gonna show you how drag and drop works. So they're already in position. So you find the video you want to replace. So that's the guy there. I want to replace placeholder one with him. All you need to do is hold the Alt key on Windows, the Option key on Mac. Now watch what happens when I don't hold that down. You'll see that he will cut off everything else, but if I hold down Option, then he falls into place. The position might be off. I can't always guarantee the position's gonna be perfect because everybody's video will be slightly off. That's why the transform command is in there. So you can change position, scale, rotation. You could even keyframe those. But one last thing I wanna show you is when I click on this video, it doesn't have an audio track on it. If it did, then, then A1 would show up in here. So I, I'm picking these because they look good in this example, but they don't come with audio. By the way, all of the clips in this tutorial provided by Adobe Stock, the premier supplier of stock images, video, motion graphics, templates, illustrations, and 3D objects, find the best uh, creative asset for your next project. So if you do want the audio, you make sure V1 and A1 are turned on and it will replace this placeholder. See how they're all linked? Okay, but for our example, we're just going to replace the video. So hold down Alt or Option as you're dragging. Alt or Option, Alt or Option. Boop, and there we go. There we drag that in. And uh, oh yeah, I think I'm off on that one. I'll have to correct that. It'll be corrected in the, in the final 50 for sure. But now in each one of these, so we'll go to the first guy, we'll go to not motion because that's where our animation is. We'll change the position for him here. We could even change the scale of him if we want. And you could add keyframes and, and even animate inside these shapes. If I wanted to, I could even add rotation inside here. And we'll go to the last one over on the right and position her over here. So you end up with, as I showed you in the original uh, animation, you'll end up with that split screen effect. You can use the audio that I've added and linked, or you can just throw away all the audio. You delete all of it if you're not using it. But like I said, in George's example, he, he uh, um, said he does like to use that audio. So it is there as an example. So how do you get your 50 uh, split screen templates? You support us on PayPal. If you're already a supporter on PayPal, then you're going to get all 50 of these free drag and drop for your wonderful support. So a $20 donation will get you your split screens. There's a link in the description to donate via PayPal. And after you donate your $20, you'll be taken to a place where you can download all 50 split screens. And it'll come with a full tutorial on how you can use this and add all of the uh, your videos, how to tweak them, and how to keyframe inside each one of the, the uh, split screen shapes everything that you want to know. And then of course, uh, tech support back and forth me, with me if you are having other issues. Um, you can change the colors of the bars. You can animate the colors uh, of, of the bars, uh, changing if you want, lots of different ways, but 50 different animated split screens. And by the way, if you don't like the animation, you can delete the keyframes. I'll show you how to do that too. All right. So there you go. If you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. If you wanna support us some more and you wanna get all of these 50 split screens, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description and one on the front of the channel. 
Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and I'm here to answer all of your questions and make sure your videos look absolutely freaking amazing.